Hello guys and welcome to my channel Joker2588 So uh, today I will show you how to make a transition from particles to text and this uh, preview you can see it it's uh, beautiful it's, uh, it's cool stuff you can make it for an intro to your uh, video or anything you want so uh, first step is we have to create a new composition you can name it anything you want so I will uh, name it Joker and uh, the time is uh, 10 seconds because this sequence is short not long uh, sequence and it's for just for tutorial so you can uh, extend the, uh, the time if you want so in this composition we will create a text you can uh, make in you can uh, type any text you want so I will type Joker 2588 you can uh, you place it in the middle okay we create a new composition we call it name and in this main composition this configuration it must be like the last uh, composition do it okay so uh, we duplicate Joker twice, Joker, Joker uh, second and Joker three. We we gonna name uh, Joker second uh, A Alpha and D for uh, displacement. Okay, and we drag this three, just the this three uh, compositions here. Make sure that we have A in the top, Joker in the bottom, and D in the middle. You have to make it like this. So, uh, we create a new uh, solid. You see, and we call it form. See, we make this form in the top and we add effect to that form trap code form so uh, in size uh, we will put uh, as we said the same uh, that we have here okay so here we have 1280 and here we have uh, 720 for uh, size Z we put 0 here we put 300 in uh, particles in X and in Y it's uh, we're gonna say 200 then we finish with the base form we go to particle in particle we put the size to uh, one is good here one is good so we uh, left like that we go to fractal field and in uh, fractal field we change this uh, displacement mode to individual x y and z uh, individual and uh, Flow uh, for flow uh, Z, we change it to uh, 50 and F scale to uh, about uh, 70. 70 is okay. All right. So after after we change that, we're gonna keyframe displacement. Okay, and then we go to layer map layer map and color alpha we put uh, a a rgb to rgba map over x and y and then uh, displacement individual y and we keyframe the strange 
Alright. I hope I'm not going too fast, but that's how it should be configured. So then after we uh, make uh, those configuration we go to form and we press U in keyboard you press U and everything that you keyframe it will be displayed here see and here we can put 1000 and here 800 and here 2000 you see and our particle it's here so you you select the time for example in four second so this place in zero zero and zero here as you see from uh, particles to text uh, it's beautiful and uh, now um, we can hide uh, A and D so uh, we hide uh, A and uh, D uh, and we make for joker you press T in the keyboard and the opacity option will uh, appear and uh, so uh, you keyframe you okay, from the opacity here for example from 0 and here 100 so it will appear smoothly from particles to text it must be syn synchronized nice and beautiful this is a little preview we will see it as you see cool so after we did that we will make transition to uh, particles another time in the in the end of this uh, sequence so you can you just uh, simply copy this this right here by uh, control control on C and uh, control V you pass it here so what will happen it's from zero to you're gonna say like uh, the old option one thousand eight hundred two thousand so it appears the text and it goes and you can uh, keyframe this uh, save copy this by control and c and control v so what will happen is it's the opposite here in this uh, keyframe it will be 100 to to 0 this one 0 So now uh, this uh, work good and it's uh, nice. Now uh, we will make a background so we, c we create a solid and background BG. Okay, and to make effect generate ramp. Here in French I have a gamme de dégradé, but in uh, English it's ramp. And you you put this down here and it's cool so you can change the, the color right here for 
example uh, red and you can make it all red or black and you can make a little preview to see it's nice so uh, uh, you can also uh, change it So uh, now we can create uh, another background, another solid. You can make it background two. Hit OK, and you go to Effect, Generate uh, for color the gray. So uh, with these colors, you can make anything you want. First, you, you put it down like this. The first is black, second, it's black. It's as you want, but it's just to show you. And uh, this you can change it to everything you like. For example, blue or light blue, or for example, light blue. And uh, you can change the place. Here it's beautiful. You see? And you can make there is an option mode. Here you click and it show. Here you click uh, screen. It's screen mode. It make more beautiful effect on. Here it's the first background. You, you you can select what you want. In first background, I will put in white. Because this is how I show you in the first preview in this tutorial. So now everything is okay, but it miss uh, the shadow. So we will make the shadow. So now we will create the shadow. First thing is with control and select all this layer and uh, composition and you make pre-compose. You can uh, make a title. Okay. So here we duplicate this title control D. We rename the second to shadow. So uh, this is we uh, it will be our uh, shadow. You change this mode and you put the shadow uh, as a 3D object. So uh, uh, we make the rotation and minus 80 and we make it down here we place it there and uh, everything is going ok now so we make effect generate and uh, fill this uh, remplir its fill we fill it with the uh, color and uh, it's taking time uh, here this uh, kind of software, uh, Adobe After Effects, it's uh, you must have a good uh, computer, good configuration, and strong enough, and have uh, much memory to for you can handle it. So you change the color of uh, of your uh, shadow. You can make it green or. light blue or anything you want so I will uh, choose little bit little bit black green to black something like 
I thought it looked like shadow for your shadow. Maybe green, okay. So that we have uh, our shadow, we must add a uh, Gaussian blur to this uh, shadow effect. Here, Gaussian blur and uh, make it blurry. It's a blur effect, it makes it look uh, like a uh, uh, real shadow. I will put uh, 20. Uh, it take much time to render. So if it take too much time to render or it's begin to be slow, you can change the resolution here. Like you make it not to good quality so it will uh, be uh, more fast uh, to render that's a good way to uh, to uh, gain uh, your time so this uh, we put 40 or uh, 35 so you just play with these numbers and until you get a uh, good cool look that you want uh, wanted so now i guess it's it's okay you can see the shadow so here uh, the preview yeah it's look uh, good so thanks uh, guys for watching and I hope this uh, tutorial uh, help you.